Welcome to our tutorial about the Make Object Layer Current tool. On my screen, I've got an unfinished part. As you see, the geometry was created on a few different layers. I have the default layer, a dimension layer, center line, definition points, hidden line, part layer, etc. Currently, dimension is the active layer. First, I want to create a second hole on this side. This hole, as we can see from the formatting, belongs to the hidden layer. Currently, we're on the dimension layer, so keep that in mind. Watch what happens when I select the circle. It does seem like we're in fact on the hidden line layer. However, we're still in the dimension layer. Activate the circle command. And watch what happens. We are back on the dimension layer. Press escape to exit the circle command. Of course, one way to switch between layers quickly is to use the layers drop down menu. And that works fine if you've only got a few layers. When I select an object on the screen, I can see to which layer the object belongs, as you saw a moment ago with this circle. So, reminder when an object is selected, you see its layer, not the current layer. Let's click Escape. Let's switch to the hidden line layer now. Another way to switch between layers quickly is to use the Make Objects Layer Current tool. Let's select my rectangle. Now click Make Objects Layer Current. You can perform this operation the other way around tool. Activate the tool and then select the item. First, I'm going to select Support Geometry. Since I'm going to delete the Support Geometry anyway, the layer that I created it on isn't so important. But for demonstration purposes, let's switch to the Part layer. And now let's activate the Offset command. Specify the offset distance. Since I didn't apply dimensions previously, and I don't know the position of this point, I'm going to right-click and select Through. The second step, I'll specify the part. Specify the through point. Make sure Snap Mode is toggled on. And I'll select this center point. Right-click and Exit. Next, I'm going to create a copy of this circle and place it at this corner. Watch what happens. Currently, I'm on the part layer, reminder. Let's activate the copy command. Select the object to copy. Right click to finish the selection. Endpoint snap is active, so I'll snap over here. Place the second instance with a left click, right click and enter to close the tool. Now since I used the copy command, AutoCAD places a second circle on the same layer where the original circle belonged. Let's create a couple more circles. Make Objects Layer Current. Select the circle. Activate the circle command. Snap to this corner. Radius. One unit. Enter. To reactivate the circle tool, press the space bar. Let's place the second circle with a one unit radius right at this corner. Now let's select and delete our support geometry. I'm going to create a few center lines now. Activate the Make Objects Layer Current tool. First, I need to create some support geometry. Snap to center. Here I'll make the size of my circle approximate. Activate the Line tool. Quadrant Snap is active. Last one here, right click and enter. And let's select the line and the circle and press delete. Activate the copy command now. Select the objects to copy and right click to finish the selection. Now specify the base point. 
and I'm going to make three more copies. Right click and enter. Lastly here, I'll apply dimensions. Make Objects Layer Current. Select the dimension. Now go to the Annotate tab. Let's place a linear dimension. Endpoint Snap is active. Left click to place the dimension. And this concludes our lesson about the Make Objects Layer Current command. As you can see, this tool makes it a lot easier to place your entities on the right layer.